have a special game for you today. Uh, I am Eric, and this is Terry, hey. and we have two representatives from Ubisoft to show you uh, Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. So with yeah. that, let's jump in. You guys, take it away. Sure. So thanks a lot. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, thanks again. So we're super happy today as well because uh, we're going to show something special um, that we didn't show anywhere else. Um, so it's a first as well to reveal that today. So we'll go step by step. But uh, yeah, we wanted to give love and uh, more content as well and just a sneak peek into the storyline and even uh, a bus fight. Um, so again, uh, Mario plus Rabbit Kingdom Battle is um, a tactical adventure uh, with the rabbits and uh, Mario. And uh, already we see uh, a new character on the screen here uh, with Luigi. As um, in the first part of the, uh, the demo, even yesterday that we saw, we we're about to unlock Luigi and now it's done. So yeah, so we'll jump a little bit later into the first world. So it's still the beginning of the game. But uh, we felt it was um, a cool spot to show a bit more advanced elements compared to yesterday. Yes. All right. So uh, that's one of my favorite things about this game is how deep it is. Yeah, so we were super excited to show um, yeah, those elements. And you'll see it's a, a nice wrap-up uh, like yesterday, but this time with some uh, new elements. So yeah, so that's the uh, Jenga tower that we call. Um, the sun is going down, and uh, it's at the end of the first world. And uh, we can talk about a bit more about the verticality of it. Yeah, this one was uh, it's nearby the end of the first world. And it's really quite different compared to the rest of the game, because instead of being uh, uh, developing horizontally, it goes up vertically. So it's just a small proof of the mess, the twist in the Mushroom Kingdom that uh, Ra Rabbit's Arrival uh, created. And uh, it's a very interesting level design because uh, you know very well that in our game we have weapons that uh, can use special uh, powers that we call super effect. Right. So you can plug into the weapon those super effects such as the bounce and the push. So being this a tower that is almost about to crumble and goes up into the clouds, it's super easy to use one of those power and push or bounce enemy out of boundaries. Mm -hmm. But the fact is, even the enemies can do it on you. So you have to watch out. And when players will arrive at the top of the tower, they will see that there is something strange, like mm, there is a chapter in front of them with the scroll that is gold and black. Uh, so maybe something big is about to be. So in that case, it's better to be prepared. And what Xavier can do is go inside the battle HQ and set up his team, select the weapon, and uh, have fun with the skill tree, which is going to be fundamental. Uh, players can also decide which kind of heroes they can select. And as each hero has its own ability and skill, it's fundamental, we'll say. You know? Uh, I don't know which is your preferred team, uh, Xavier. Yeah, I already started to select it. I really oh, okay. like uh, Luigi. Um, like Me we too. See, we saw a little bit of that yesterday, but uh, his health point is really low um, yeah. at this part of the game compared to, for example, Rabbit Peach. Uh, but he's really go good from uh, far and doing far distance um, damage. So It's a longer range guy. Yeah. And we see here, for example, Rabbit Luigi that uh, we won't choose today for the fight, but started to have the Vampire Dash 30 damage. So it's the highest dash damage that uh, heroes have at first with this crew. Uh, but he also add Vampire effect, which uh, the enemy become vampired. And then every time you hit the enemy, you get life. Even if uh, mm -hmm. Mario is shooting him or Luigi, you're going to get life. So it's a life pool, which is quite interesting. So he's really this little guy. He's it's hard. very strategical because yeah. uh, you use it uh, on uh, some enemy, and maybe all your heroes can uh, shoot at him to recover part right. of the damage d dealt on the enemy. Right. Yeah, so you'd want to, you know, in your turn when you're in battle, like use him first. So you use that status effect, and then your other heroes could benefit from it. Absolutely. 
And um, then we have the second part of uh, the preparation, like David was saying, it's um, all about the weapons, you know? Uh, we have 200, more than 250 type, you know, and different weapons, so really went far into, uh, you know, putting different stats, different elements, oh. like, you know, the bounce effect is my preferred bounce, uh, I mean, super effect, because it bounces the enemy away, potentially, of the battlefield, and, uh, you know, you have added damage, and uh, it's like in Mario Kart, you know, when you get out of the road, and uh, so <laughs> this approach is just <laughs> yeah. super cool, and if you add that to, uh, I don't know, you, you burn the enemy, and then with your second character, you just bounce the enemy away, and it works on mid-boss as well, so it's really like it's awesome to see on the screen. Yeah, especially if you have certain enemies that are rush-type enemies and kind of rushing at you, and yeah. you need to keep that distance between yep. them. Yeah. Absolutely, and you can use those super effects in combination with the techniques. So you may use a technique with Mario, which is called Hero Sight, that prepares Mario, meaning that if an enemy will move nearby him, he will shoot even if it's not his turn. So just imagine that you do the same with other characters, an enemy is moving, Mario goes hero sight, shoot the enemy, the super effect bounce apply, the enemy fly over the battlegrounds, enters in the area of reaction of one of the other heroes that shoot that's again awesome. and crazy. maybe applies the burn effect. And as the burn effect is something that uh, allows for propagation, you will see that if the enemy touches other Wow. Other units, they will start to prog propagate yeah. and run. Uh, and so here, yeah, and here we see a secondary weapon. Um, you know, yesterday... My preferred, melee. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's awesome. It's, it's Mario's hammer, and uh, you have a lot of them. Of course, it's locked so far. You have to uh, unlock them through the adventure. But here it's a good example of a little bit more advanced uh, elements. So, for example, your first um, hammer that you get on the game is good. You know, the damage output is good. Uh, you have... Um, you know, you cannot use it every turn, but still, even with the cooldown, it's quite cool. But if you look at the second one here, not only it adds the honey damage uh, and glue the enemy on the ground for 30% chance, which is incredibly cool if you do it on a smasher, for example, uh, because you cannot move any way anymore mm -hmm. uh, to attack your other heroes. But also what we see on the top right is um, what we call the good damage against something. And here, it's ah. the Ziggies. Um, plus 30 damage uh, chance here to apply what you have on the Ziggy. So that's pretty cool because it means if you have a lot of Ziggies around by using this weapon, it can be very effective. So this is something you need to watch out because every weapon has something different. So they start very simple, yeah. but then they start to, we start yeah. to add the uh, stats. Right. Yes, and as Xavier said, we had these elements of proficiencies. So some weapons are more efficient against some type of enemies and uh, some weapons are more efficient against the cover. So regardless of the type of cover, gotcha. you can damage those even faster. Another awesome. example before uh, we go on with the skill tree, um, that's the, the sentry. So Rabbit Peach can use a second weapon sentries. And the big difference here is if you look down there, uh, 150 life point. So it's like a hero, a new hero. Right. It There's goes so on. That yeah. yeah, on your team. And uh, it applies the push damage and push effect, uh, which is great. It's not like the bounce. The bounce is really bouncing out and potentially out of the zone. The push could do the same. You could be push out the, uh, the, the zone itself, but you can also push another enemy behind. So it's like a domino effect. Yeah. So right. it's quite effective here. So this little guy, this little sentry, can really go and really try to, uh, to affect the uh, enemy you target and then just push everyone around with an AOE type of effect. So the cover damage is not really high on this one. You know, it says low, so it's not going to destroy that much of the covers. But later in the game, potentially you have some very good weapons to destroy covers in one hit, which could be a very interesting for strategy. Awesome. Uh, the philosophy of the, the weapon that we have in our game it can be divided in two macro area. The primary weapon, that uh, uh, are a very direct uh, way to deal with the enemy. They damage one single unity, and the secondary weapon that are basically area of damage. Once again, uh, those weapons, the secondary weapon, works pretty well in combination, in synergy with some of the techniques that some of the characters, the heroes, will have later on in the game, such as the Magnet Dance, which is the ability to lure all the enemies around you nearby in an area, 
and this is where you want to eat with an area of the mage uh, weapon. Gotcha. And last but not least, um, the skill tree. Uh, really important to, uh, to do it before a big fight. Um, so I'm going to reset it here, because you can reset whenever you want. So basically, it's a good way to, uh, so you see the, the fight seems to be a big fight. You have a lot of covers and stuff. You even have um, covers that cannot be destroyed. So when you look at that, you can go back to the battle, battle shoe and adapt your strategy, your weapons, like we said, but also, of course, the skill tree. So um, example with Mario. So just quickly, we have move and attack technique and other, um, other elements uh, that we can add as well. And um, which are very important, because yeah. you can uh, change how much the character can move in the area of movement or the stamina or how much health will gain back when uh, he will find mushroom in exploration or uh, gotcha. the area of movement outside the pipe, the rabbit pipe that uh, you can find in the battleground. So for example, here I have 40 orbs. So you know those orbs are what you get from fight. If you did very well in fight, you get more orbs. So as soon as you have orbs, uh, you can start to spend them. Uh, so the fir very first element that Mario can do in his moving phase is an upgrade to what we call the stump jump. So basically, thanks to this, he will be able to do a team jump like before, but then stump on the head of the enemy for damage as well. And it's another boost as well in terms of uh, reach and zone of uh, movement. So that's a very cool element. So you just uh, upgrade it. Mario's happy. and. Uh, Starting now, you can do it in fight right away. Nice. And then it's up to you to upgrade. So you can upgrade your dash, dash damage. And as you proceed into the game, it's going to be more and more expensive. So you'll have to make choices where you want to put your points. So you cannot put your points at the end of the game over everything. You have to choose drastically where you want to go for each of them. So Mario can be very different from one player to another one. Right. And it's um, really letting the player experiment uh, with the game, it's one of the key features that we wanted to have uh, in the game. But also for the player that uh, doesn't want to, they can press the autofill function. Mm -hmm. And so basically, it's uh, what we decided for the player. The yeah, best, uh, yes, skills, the best right. three, the best path. Well, that's so what's, awesome. What's yeah, great about yeah, I'm sorry. Go also, so what's great about it is too, you, again, you, again you, can, you can reset it every time. And so depending on what battle you're in, you just set it to that current standard. So then you're able to counter for the environment for the enemy. So it's it's great that being that you can change it every time, it's a great possibility of different varieties of battle. That's why we wanted to have before the fight really have a look into the uh, the battlefield itself so you can adapt. That's really the smart. difference with boss fights, you don't have this preparation phase to it's really up to you to discover what the fight is. Yep. So you have to go in a way that you look at the battlefield and okay I'm gonna try to go for that, but you'll be surprised with the boss because you don't know what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. That's what it's gonna show. I guess we'll see what's going to happen here in a second. Yeah. yeah so yeah. I'm going to buy the uh, secondary weapon as well. Uh, this or hammer. you can trust the autofill. Or we can trust the autofill. So <laughs> this feature is interesting if you want to go straight into the action. So you press Y, and the game says, you want me to autofill the, uh, mm -hmm. the element. Of course, it's based on what we chose, depending on your rank and where you are. But of course, it's something that maybe is not totally connected to what you would do. But you can have this option as well. So let's go. Can't wait. Pretty excited for this now. So they just arrived on the top of the tower here, uh, so we can talk a little bit more about the story. So Mario and there is a strange guy there. Yeah, and uh, Mario, Luigi, and Rabbit Peach just saw this little guy that we saw a bit yesterday as well. So he's actually the cutest threat ever. <laughs> he's uh, responsible for everything and all the enemies you see in the game. Why? Because he's able to fuse a white rabbit with something from Mario's world. Mm. And why? Because when he's stressed, and his stress level is super high, well, he's going to create those enemies. The more stress, the, more, the bigger the enemy will be. Gotcha. So Bowser Jr., um, who observed that from far, during the, uh, the first world, he's like, hey, I can use this little guy for me and create my ultimate army and potentially you know, take over the Mushroom Kingdom Finally, you know, while uh, his father is potentially on vacation somewhere. So he's, he's calling him Spawny because he's spawning stuff. <laughs> and um, he's going to test right now and even convince this little guy. This little guy is so naive 
uh, that you know he thinks that Mario and his friends were trying to catch him up to do something with him. So he was super stressed. So when he sees Bowser Jr., he's convinced that he's a good guy. So yeah, I'm gonna join him. And now we're gonna see, you know, a fusion between two things, between the banana and the rabbit, and what it, you know, it brings on the table. I think Bowser Jr. set you up. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. So, so this is yeah. happening really at the end uh, of the first world, and it's the the very first bo boss battle of the game. Awesome. Uh, each world is divided in ch ten chapters, like chapters of the of a book. At the middle of uh, each world, there is a mid boss fight, and at the end of each board, there is a bot boss fight. So Kong is uh, super jealous of uh, the bunch of bananas in front of him. And so doesn't want no one to come nearby those bananas because he wants to keep it for, uh, for him. And uh, the player here will have really to understand how to deal with the boss. Right. So there is a little bit of uh, observation going on here uh, for the player. So we start to see what uh, we saw yesterday, but a bit more advanced. For example, here, Rabbit Peach. Thanks to the skill tree that we just saw before, she's able to double dash. And has her dash damage is at 20. It's a good damage, you know, for yeah. um, yep. starting to uh, hit the enemy. So I can press again and continue my movement. Um, and that's just the movement phase. So exactly. she can actually damage the enemy in the movement phase and then still attack. Yes. Exactly. I could attack right away the enemy, but I'm going to show you the second character here gotcha. um, with Mario. So we saw that, of course, Mario can dash. He can do something like team jump just before, so with Rabbit Peach. Team Stomp, as I just oh, nice. shown in the, uh, the skill so tree. It's so. all about chaining those right. abilities that you are upgrading in your character yeah. skill tree. And, being and efficient as each choices, hero yeah. has its own, it's really yeah. up to the player. There's so many different varieties of chaining these attacks. Yeah. Yeah. And then I just can press A, he goes, 20 damage, team jump, team stomp, nice. defeat That's the enemy awesome. in the process. And then I'm well positioned to flank both enemies, actually. And here, for example, this one with the, uh, the piston uh, panic gun that uh, we have here. So the damage is way over than uh, the enemy's remaining life. So even if I apply the bounce effect, it's just going to be cool because anyway, he's going to be defeated. <laughs> well, so we'll see. We go. Ooh, got him. There we go. And then Luigi. Um, He's starting to be far away, but he doesn't care because you know he's really good with range. Look at the range; he can, you know, shoot at enemy wow. for the whole battle ground almost. Yeah. Maybe on the left, top left, he can't. But he's the one like he can shoot anything from afar. Uh, the but weapon looks like a Hoover, so it seems like a citation uh, going on. The sniper. And uh, just before we see uh, the sentry here, and we start to see you know where the sentry could go. And it, it, sh it says with the red dot that sh he won't be able to reach that enemy in the first uh, round. Gotcha. But what is cool is that if the enemy comes nearby by mistake, it's going to explode, you know? Ah, it's right. going to wait for the enemy to enter his zone. So I can try to show this. Uh, you'll see. So it's really different. It's a little new hero. And you see this bubble? That's the, uh, the range that mm -hmm. as soon as the enemy enters, um, he's going to shoot. So let's switch and see uh, if the enemy goes. Rabbit Peach is not well positioned here. Um, I wanted to show for... Uh, it's know, kind of, of exposed. Yeah. You didn't protect her very well. And now the sentry can go and continue and do that damage. And you see the cover damage was not great, but still it worked. It mm -hmm. worked. And uh, so I'm going to show you know the hammer that we... Uh, but in the skill tree as well, here with Mario, even if it's not needed, as the enemy is almost uh, done. But you see, what we saw there was the zone of uh, attack, so anyone around would have been uh, shot. And as I did a lot of damage, a lot of points nice. can be uh, that's taken. Awesome. So that's pretty cool. So one thing... I will try with Luigi. Yeah. We can uh, show Rabbit Kong in the past. So. In the, in the background. So this is just the first phase. We won't show the whole thing because it's a bit longer. But the thing here with 
him is that even if I can reach him, like I'm going to do here, it's going to do some damage, but not really. Because every time he eats a banana, he's going to get his life back. So of course, we know the game. We know what to do. But yeah. basically, here, you need to adapt. So, so basically, the player needs to find a way to get rid of those bananas. Otherwise, Kong will keep replacing health forever. Got to be perceptive. Yeah. yeah. So let's try to go in that zone with Rabbit Peach, thanks to a team jump. Boosh. Bam. The bananas just fell down. So Kong is super he's, excited. He's mad now. Yeah. So now, as he's looking for his bananas, and, and he's uh, cute. It's almost a pity to defeat the guy. Yeah, <laughs> Look at that, the desperation. The animations <laughs> in this game are so good. It's awesome. So I'm going to try to shoot. <laughs> Damn. Now we can do damage and apply, uh, which is pretty cool. But the issue is that I was maybe a little too close. Uh-oh. Oh, my god. <laughs> he's super <laughs> romantic. Yeah? That's so good. So you have to watch out, because basically it could be really bad for you. So you need to leave the zone and start to shoot again. Um, so for example, with uh, Rabbit Luigi, with a big damage output, with Mario, and then with Rabbit Peach, it's pissed. Yeah, this is your time. You got to get that damage Let's in. go. And oh. boom. There we go. So this is just the first phase of the combat itself. And then he's going to move on into new zones. Yep. New types of enemies will start. Those waves, if you're not behind full covers, you get bounced away. So your life starts to go down, out of boundaries, et cetera, et cetera. So, and that's something that uh, we won't show more right. because it would be too much. That was just the first phase. And, <laughs> and this is a long boss fight. Yep. Yeah. yeah. It's a, around 30 minutes, I will say. Yeah, 30-minute boss fight. That's what I'd love to hear. That's so cool. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for being here. It was um, awesome to show that. We're super happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, geez, man, this game is turning out so good. Yeah. I'm really impressed. So, thank you. Thanks uh, a lot. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, next up, we have an exclusive look at Super Mario Odyssey.